So this is the test. It is 4.7B summative. Make sure you have the right form and good luck. So number one says, which of the following changes to the earth is caused by moving water? A, a new island forms in the middle of the ocean. B, a plain becomes a deep canyon with steep walls. C, a sand dune shifts from one location to another. Or D, a mountain grows taller over a thousand years. Okay. Number two. Number two says, how can a glacier change a mountain? A glacier can A, generate a volcanic eruption. B, cause a powerful earthquake. C, make a mountain grow taller. Or D, change the shape of a valley. Number three says, rocks that are carried in a quickly moving river for a long time are most likely to be A, long and thin, B, large and flat, C, smooth and rounded, D, black and shiny. Number four says slow changes like weathering, erosion, and deposition are result of moving water and, and ice along with A, pressure, B, heat, C, tides, or D, wind. Number five says, this image shows a canyon. What natural force is responsible for creating this change to the Earth's surface? A, wind blowing, B, ice freezing, C, moving water, or D, snow falling? Number six says, which of the following changes to the Earth's surface is mostly created by moving wind? A. Deep cracks forming. B. Rocks getting rounded. C. Large dunes moving. Or D. Tall mountains rising. Number seven says, This rock formation formed over many millions of years. What force most likely created it? A, a glacier pushing rocks ahead of it. B, a river bringing rocks down a mountain. C, wind blowing and carving large rocks. D, a volcano blasting rocks great distances. Number eight says, Dunes are large piles of sand that shift slowly around the deserts and on beaches. What causes the dune to move from place to place? A. Rushing rivers. B. Blowing winds. C. Freezing water. Or D. Weathering rock. The next one, number nine, it says, when ice forms, it causes weathering by A, holding water, B, lifting sediment, C, cooling wind, or D, breaking rocks. Ten. A delta is a large collection of sediments at the mouth of a river. The river deposits its sediments when A, the river slows down, B, the water gets salty, C, the sediment is small, or D, the temperature is cold. Number 11, 
says, where is one most likely to find rocks that have become smooth and rounded? A, at the bottom of an ocean. B, within, deep within the earth. C, on top of a hill. Or D, moving in a fast moving river. Number 12. Over many years, the bottom of the lake gets higher and higher. What change, what could cause this slow change? The climate in the area gets warmer. B. Sediments are deposited in the lake. C. The sun evaporates the water. Or D. The sun evaporates the water. Interesting. Number 13, label and draw a diagram explaining weathering, erosion, and deposition. What is the difference in these processes? And this is the open-ended section, so 13, 14, and your bonus will all be open-ended. Number 14 says choose a landform. How was it formed? And again, you can draw, you can label, just explain to me how it was formed. You can write it out, whatever you need to do. Your bonus is name the two types of weathering. Again, your bonus is name the two types of weathering.